All right, how's it going guys? Connor's here, moving my mic a little bit, sorry about that. Anyways, welcome back to some more Pokemon Phoenix Rising. Last time we uh, we were out of town, saw a fraud guy, he disappeared like a magician. Now we're here in Trad Farm, doing things. So uh, yeah, it's time to go into this red barn. There is a shit ton of milk tank here. And there's a guy up there. Oh, is that the fraud guy? It would take some kind of genius to find me here. It's the fraud guy. Right under their noses. I guess we're gonna have to fight the fraud guy. Can I talk to the mill tank? Moo. <laughs> moo indeed, mill tank. Moo indeed. Oh, this one's mad. That moo that mill tank does not like me. Can I have some free moo moo milk? What if I talk to you? Why are you angry? Stop being angry at me, mill tank. Dick. We can potentially fall down there, but. Okay, just water back here. Got it. Alright, let's fight this guy. Come on. Gah, get away from me. I didn't do anything wrong. You got that? Oh, wait, here's the kid. Okay, don't scream or nothing. How'd you find me up here? It's a cunning hiding spot. You're daring, huh? Hey. How about you and I make a deal? Mutual beneficial, I promise. I'm skipping town. I'm a free spirit, you know? Gone with the wind. Not that I was here for very long, but just the same, I'm out. So really, why try to lock me up? I'm out of your hair regardless. The morality is a mood point. You dig? What? You want me off the streets? I didn't hurt anybody. But maybe I should pay a fine, right? Because how about I pay a fine to you? Picking up what I'm putting down? One nugget, free of charge. Sell that for a pretty penny, huh? I'll give you this, and you don't have to tell anyone that you saw me. I'll leave dusty old Tranquilo Town, and everyone's better for it. And honestly, what do you owe these people, huh? Your neighbors? Just one little lie, and you get a fabulous parting gift. And understand, if you don't take it, and you try to cuff me, I'm not giving up easy. Picking up what I'm putting down? Hello, choice and consequence. Your choice, choices matter. Choose carefully when making decisions as they may impact okay, some of your... Okay. Will you help the stone seller? Interesting. So I am going to do two playthroughs of this. The normal one and then a Nuzlocke. Um, I think we'll be bad now. And when the Nuzlocke rolls around, we'll do like the right choices. The good, the good person choices. Because I would love a nugget. <laughs> Yes, help him. Sure, give me a nugget. Alright, good choice, friend. Pal, compadre, you've earned this. Hey, I'll take it. Thanks for your help. Peace. Okay, bye. Does that mean I'm not going to be able to catch a fighting type? Still need to find a fighting type somewhere in here. I don't know if it's in the grass or what, but... Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what the consequences for that are going to be. If there even is going to be any consequences. There's like scratch marks right there. I don't know. Moo Tank, are you still mad at me? Moo Tank? Mill Tank, I mean? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well, I guess we'll head back. Actually, I'm search. Sur oh, what? Oh, hi. I didn't get to read that first part. Something, something, something to search here. Sadly, we couldn't find that awful swindler anywhere. I still need to speak with you, however. Can we meet at the Pokemon Center? It's a large building with the orange roof in Tranquilo Town. See you there soon. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna search the grass a bit, because I need to find me... I wonder if it's in the well. I need to find a fighting type somewhere. I need this repel I have. To, oh, I guess I didn't have a repel on. Okay. I'm looking for a fighting type. That is my goal, I think. It's gonna be somewhere in Trade Farm. That is a Lillipup. That is not what I was looking for. 
Also, it'd be good to see just kind of like what kind of Pokemon I could find around here. Just found like Talo, Lillipup, nothing I want. There's a fighting type right there, Riolu. Okay. Is this the only one, or are there more fighting types here? I'm going to catch it just in case it's the only one. Endure. I actually like that. He can live with one HP. That is, that is a decent amount. Okay, I'll hit it one more time with Rapid Spin, and then we'll start chucking Pokeballs. All right. Chucking Pokeballs. I love that. Just press B, throw a Pokeball. And it did not want to get caught. Stop foresighting me. Let's get in the freaking ball. God damn it, Riolu. Hold on, I gotta close my door. Okay, sorry about that. Wait, no, no, don't you fight. Don't you fight this thing. One, two, three. Fuck. God damn it. I don't know how many Pokeballs I have left. I think I got like six of them only. I are you freaking kidding me? I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be able to catch this thing. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have two and then a love ball. Wait, opposite gender of your Pokemon. What gender are you? Boy, I don't have a gender, so I don't, I'm not sure if that works. We do not have a... Our star you is genderless. Shit, dude. What I'm going to need it to do is I'm going to need it to endure while we hit it one time. But I, that's like a risk. Like, I don't want to risk it. Ah. Uh. Mm. I'm not sure how, how rare the fighting types are in here. I found this one on like my fourth or fifth try. Okay, you know what? Throw another ball at it. One, two, three. Yes! Okay. 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 Thank you. Jeez, that really was hard to catch. You know, I wouldn't even mind having a Lucario on the squad. What do we call him? I guess I'll just call him Ryu. Fuck it. Alright. So there, we. Would, what would you like to do with Ryu? Oh, cool! So when I catch Pokemon, I get automatically added to the party, send a box. Let's check the summary. So level 4, fighting type. Has rash nature, up special attack, lower special defense. Uh. Okay. Has steadfast, raises speed each time the Pokemon flinches. Got it. Knows foresight, quick attack, and endure. Alright, added party. There we go. So we caught ourselves a fighting type in this area. I'm not sure if that's the only one or if there's others, but you know what? I'm just gonna. What? Okay. Let's get going. So we gotta show the fighting type to the guy in the uh, Pokemon Center. I think we gotta meet the professor in the Pokemon Center as well. All right. Gotta heal. Thank you. Okay, now I gotta talk to this guy. You found one, sweet. Show my pal here, and give me a right chuckle. Uh, okay. You found one. Ha! Huh, I knew it. Nice job, kid. Take this. What is he giving me? TM54 False Swipe. Okay. That could help catch Pokemon. A fighting feud. Still gotta sell my nugget, too. Alright, cool. Uh, this is a Pokemon Center mark. Yeah, I kind of already knew that. It is a safe haven in the hectic lives of tra trainers, as you may have realized. I would like to offer you this Pokedex. It's a tool of Pokemon researchers. Okay. This gadget allows you to access a trove of knowledge related to your Pokemon. 
After capturing a Pokemon, this information is immediately at your disposal. With that said, I have another gift for you to pair with the Pokedex. Pokeballs! Cool. These Pokeballs allow for the humane capture of training humane capture and training of Pokemon. With even a single Pokemon Pokeball in hand, all wild Pokemon are potential friends. Your, po your team can expand, grow stronger, but only as a result of strenuous training. I hope you keep that thought with you as you journey through Trinidad. I wish you good luck, and I hope to see you soon, Mark. Nice. Alright, so now off to Route 2, I presume. Trinidad Teachings. What the hell is that? Uh, Mark is headed to Trinity University, but the long journey with their Pokemon, they must head for Romanti Village. Got it. Alright. Before we head off, though, we're going to go ahead and go to the... Po oh, hi. Oh, Mark, good. I managed to catch up with you. Oh, you picked Staryu. It's precious. You chose well. Here, I got this for you. After your father agreed to pay for everything out there, and then he helped you to get your first Pokemon. So this is my little revenge. What the hell is that? Poke gear? Now it's Poke Strap. Oh, hello. It's called a Poke Strap. It has all kinds of apps and functions for trainers. The tech reviews say it's essential for new trainers today. Very modern. I know Nocturne Town is old-fashioned, and I didn't want you to look like a yokel. <laughs> Jesus. And now you're off. First, you'll master Trinity University. <laughs> Next, the world. <laughs> you'll be living near your father in this exciting new place. And you'll be busy with your Pokemon. Your travels, it's wonderful. But I'm never going to see you, am I? Not anymore. No, it's true. It's a very far trip, and there's nothing here for you anymore. So sad. Oh, I knew I should have dealt with this much earlier. I'm being selfish. This was supposed to be your big day, and now I ruined, ruined it with all this. Know that I'm going to miss you very much, Mark. I'll always be home, should you need me. So sad. Shit. Toggle the Poke Strap by pressing Tab. If you can change pressing apps by pressing F and V. Okay, so Tab to take it off my screen. Got it. I want it off my screen. Tab. Okay. All right. Before we head off and leave to Trinity University, we are going to go to the Poke Mart because I have some things to sell and some things to buy. Thanks to my good old Nugget. Can I buy new clothes yet? No, damn it. Alright, hold on, gotta sell. We will sell the nugget. And we will sell the rare candy, because I'd rather have the money than, you know, one level up. Yeah, 2400, I'd rather have that right now. Early in the game, I'd rather have money, 100%. Alright, we have six in bag, let's buy four more Pokeballs. We have 12 in bag. Let's buy three more potions. Nine, nine in bag. Let's buy 11 more repel. What? Mm, let's buy six more repels. And that's all for now. All right. Money well spent. Actually, before we head off, how many? I should buy. I'm not sure because I know we have a lot of cherry berries. We have one antidote. Mm, we have six Petra Berries. Okay, so we're good for poison. Do I want to teach somebody False Swipe? Just for catching Pokemon purposes. Eh, not right now. One thing I do want to do, though, is I want to throw... First off, let's save. Gotta remember to save. Good lord, you gotta remember to save. Okay. I want to put you out front. Just so I... I want to put Riolo out front so we can get some levels... God, the lag. Where was I going again? Oh, yeah. This way should be good, right? 
Ugh. Ugh. Is there anything in this rock? It is a no. Route 2. I don't even know what those berries are. Akibia? You look like you can put up a good fight. Damn straight I can. I'm a fucking fighter. Last Paz. What kind of name is that? Fighting Nevi. God, I wish Ryu knew a fighting type attack. He doesn't, right? No, he doesn't. Alright, switch. Gotta switch train. Now he evolves through happiness. God damn it. Just gotta walk around with him a bit. Gotta make sure he doesn't die. Come on. Go down. Thank you. 74, level 5. Nice. Fletchling. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and switch in Ryu for the XP. This thing's not fire type yet, so... I won't be able to one-shot it with water gun. Whatever. Should at least two-shot it. If I could actually find me a Fletchling in this area, I wouldn't mind putting a Fletchling on my team. Be a nice fire, fi fire flying. Go down. Go down and stay down. Vacuum wave. There's a fighting type attack for us. That was a good fight. A good, good fight. Vacuum wave. Use your whirls its fists to send a wave of pure vacuum at the target. This move always goes first. Okay, so it's like mock punch, kind of. There we go. Alright. This guy's having a campfire. Well, hello there, fellow traveler. My name is Perrin, and my partner, Rufflet. You are... Don't tell me he wants to fight me, so I cannot handle a rufflet. Mark. Well, Mark, you should sit with us. Relax. Let your Pokemon take a breather. We can share adventuring stories. Oh, yay. It's not a competition, but I think I'm going to win regardless. There's a seat there. Do I have to? Shit, I have to. It's going to be so much fun. I didn't hear many good stories. Rufflet. Uh, when was the last good story we heard from a passerby? Guess he doesn't know. No way. It wasn't that long ago. It's like, bitch, am I ever wrong? Why, why is this ruffling near a fire, dude? That sounds dangerous. Oh, dear. Well, you've got a lot of pressure on your on this tale of yours. Go ahead. We're all adventurers here. I don't even think I have any stories. I just left home. In the barn? Wow. Hiding in plain sight? Oh, I told him about the fucking swindler. And then what did you do? I let him go? For a nugget? Oh, wow, a bribe. What a villain. They're calling me a villain? You took it? How self-serving. Wow. Would you have done the same, Rufflet? <laughs> yes, he would have. You're a Pokemon. Why would you need a nugget? <laughs> you can't buy things. Anyway, Mark, continue. Then you were sent off on a journey. Across unknown lands. A dangerous trial. Well, what a gripping story that was. I have goosebumps. Look! <laughs> fucking look at me! But... Did you say... Uh, did you say where it is that you're going? So you're gonna be like our rival... Trinidad University. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what would make you want to go there? Wow, I called my school. Ew. It's full of stogy academics and loser bookworms. Your father is a professor at Trinidad University. Unbelievable. You're not a real adventurer. You're a college student. Wow. 
This guy wanna fight me? Why don't I show you how a true adventurer battles? Oh god. Rufflet to arms! Ah, Jesus. I do have to fight the Rufflet. Shit. It's grass flying. I have a fighting and a water type. This is not gonna go down well. I think it's three Pokemon. Well, he starts off with a Larvitar. At least Ryu can handle that. Wow. Couldn't handle- I thought I was going to do at least half. God dang it, Ryu. Two hits. Come on. Yep. Stealth Rock. Oh no. That's going to hurt. He potioned. Dick. That was going to take like four shots to take him out. Now three. Well, at least he can use him now and don't use him on the Rufflet later. I do not want him to use it on the Rufflet. Uh, I hope the uh, Rufflet's going to have to know some grass. Oh, and he withdrew to Helioptile, which is normal type, right? Yeah, normal type. Electric normal. Okay. I can handle this. Oh, Jesus, the motherfucker has Dragon Tail. Dragon Tails, Dragon Tails. Ow. I didn't heal. Shit. Alright, let's heal real quick. Oh, jeez! Why did I not think of the Thundershock? That should be faster, right? What? Dry skin. Corson has dry skin. Of course it has dry skin. I should have. Why didn't I not look at stats? Why did I not look at that? That's there for a reason, goddammit. Ah, okay. Well, we gotta go. Ow. Please don't die to a Thundershock. Ah! How much damage does that do? It does half? Are you fucking kidding me? I can't die. Okay, you know what? I gotta. Uh, they we're not winning this battle, especially with the stealth rocks out. The Star Boy's gonna die to one hit from stealth rocks. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I don't know how much. Oh, okay. I don't know how much a Thundershot can do to Starboy. I didn't look last time I checked. Uh, Astonish or... Oh, we can't Astonish. We have to Rapid Spin. That's all we can do. Hey, blew away the Stealth Rocks. Cool. Ow. Didn't look like it did half. Did it do half? It did not do half. It does about 12. Okay. Okay, good job. Good job. Oh, Rufflet. Oh, what? I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. I thought it was a Rowlet. <laughs> That's why I was worried in the first place. I thought it was a Rowlet. Grass, the grass flying starter. Ah, it's a Rufflet. Okay, we can handle a Rufflet. God damn it. I was so worked up because I thought this was a Rowlet. Oh, man. Yeah, this isn't too terrible. I mean, it's strong as shit, but it shouldn't be too hard to take out. Just got to heal and, heal and hit. That's the combo right there. Heal and hit. Oh, yeah, we're good. And the Larvitar is almost done. Yeah, we're good. Sucks that Riolu had to die. All because of the dry skin. If I would have looked and saw that dry skin. Uh, whatever. Minimize. That can actually be useful. We can get rid of... Uh, do we want Harden or Minimize? Actually, no. We'll keep Harden. I'd rather have Harden than Minimize. 
Oh, you're serious when it comes to battling, aren't you? Oh, this guy calls him. He doesn't even look like an adventurer. What the hell? This guy looks like a fucking college student. Rufflet, I mean. Haha, <laughs> uh, no cause for alarm. It was beginner's luck, obviously. I'm sure you know what that is. Rufflet and I have bested many, many strong and more valiant opponents. But know this, Mark. Should our paths cross again, the next time I see you, I'm gonna kick your butt, got it? Good, now run along. It's a long journey before you reach beautiful Trinida. Okay, so we kind of showed him who's boss. I gotta go back and heal now, because Ryu is dead as shit. Actually, eh. Leave my sight, Hoot Toot. I have no time for this. I gotta go revive Ryu. He's freaking dead as shit. God. Now it's gonna take longer for us to have evolved him. Actually, I wonder... I don't think it shows happiness, does it? And I got the hiccups. Great. It doesn't show happiness anywhere on here, does it? No, it does not. Dang it. I was hoping it'd show happiness. Whatever. Pretty sure the happiness, like its happiness rises as it as we like walk with it. So what do I do off screen? I might just like walk around a bit with my Riolu. Pretty sure happiness, it raises happiness when we like, you know, go for walks and shit. Pretty sure that's a thing, I think. Alright, whatever. Alright, we're good and healed. Let's get out of here. Which probably... I don't know why I didn't do this before. I give berries. What do these do? Weakens a super effective poison type attack. Okay. Guess. Let's go ahead and give this berry to you. And let's give one to you. Just in case. Honestly, if they were, they were probably holding berries, probably would have lived. Probably would have lived if they were holding berries. Beginner's mistake. Beginner's mistake. Gotta get through this lag. Ah, uh, okay. Let's go this way. Are there hidden items in here? Has to be, right? Knew it. There had to be a hidden item in there. <laughs> Alright. Fight me. Hmm. It's nice to get some fresh air. Yeah, it sure is. Camper Bobby. Oh, god damn it, Bobby. Spinarak. Poison bug. Eh. I can't really handle. Why am I... Nope, nope. Switch train. Can't really handle this thing right now. Now I'm gonna be slower. Oh, dang it. Water gun. Yeah, man. Water gun. Seven. Give me no XP. Goldeen. Goldeen, Goldeen. I wonder if he can take a Goldeen. If level five, we'll try to fight it with Ryu. It's level six. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's see how much a vacuum wave does. Hmm. Uh, decent amount. I'm scared that it lowered our defense. That's a little scary. Peck? Oh, this thing knows Peck? How, what? Is it because of the horn on your head? Hmm, it did about 10 damage. So we could live another. And we go first anyways. Oh god, I don't think we're, we're not going to live another if we try it. I don't think... I don't want to risk it. Or just switch. I don't want him to die again. Because it's going to take longer. Because if he dies again, his happiness is going to go down. 
I'd rather just switch. Yeah, he went for Peck. He was trying to kill me. He was on a mission to murder me. Goodbye, Goldeen. Maybe less sniffing flowers and more training is needed, yeah. You're not gonna win battles by sniffing flower, kid. You're not gonna that's not how things work in life. Alright. Well anyways guys, I think this is gonna be a good good time as any to go ahead and end the episode here. So uh yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Connors. I will see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Phoenix Rising. We'll, we'll continue on to Trini Trinida Trinida University. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Spin Con Artist. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching again. And uh, yeah, peace out.